Hey, it's me, Chloe T. On this channel, we explore sustainable building practices and creative problem solving. So if that's something you're into, please subscribe. In this video, me and my friend Kira are making a modern bookshelf for her new apartment. Cutting. So recently my friends moved to the area, they moved into a new apartment and needed some furniture. So I asked Kira what she wanted. She told me that one of the big pieces they needed was a new bookshelf. Uh, it needed to be relatively small and she didn't want it to be a really kind of basic shape like a square or rectangle. She preferred something that was a little more interesting. So I thought that was a cool project, I was happy to take it on for them. I was kind of thinking maybe I would do something like a hexagon or an octagon but I was also just gonna look for what materials I could find and let that inspire me. And sure enough, I was on a walk around my neighborhood and I found this really cool old log holder and it was a circular shape, which I hadn't considered. So I asked my neighbor and it turns out he was just getting rid of it. So he happily gave it to me and I had the frame and kind of the idea now of what I wanted to do. So with the frame, I decided to get Kira involved. I love showing people how to use tools and get them inspired on building with these more sustainable techniques of you know finding materials and using them. When I showed her the frame, she was super excited about it. I think she really liked the circle and it wasn't what she was expecting. So the first thing we did to convert this log holder into a bookshelf was make the shelves. To do that, we just used a compound miter saw and cut some wood down to the rough size that it needed to be to fit within the frame. At that point, I wanted to give the wood a little something extra. I wanted a way to tie the wood more into the frame, the frame being a black metal, and then of course the wood was kind of this lighter grain. So to do that, we use this technique where you burn wood and it gives it a really nice color, chars it a bit so you get those darker like blacks and everything within the wood, which I felt tied it nicely into the frame. So we used some blow torches and we set wood on fire, partially outside, and then the wind was really picking up, so partially in my basement, which I oh, don't fun. know that I'd recommend. And with the wood colored, I really liked how that was turning out. It definitely made it fit better with the frame like we had hoped. At that point, it was just now, how do we attach these shelves to the frame? And I decided I would just run rods through the side of the frame and then lay the wood shelves across those rods. And so I got some threaded rod at the store and then it was just drilling those holes within the frame, which as with most things, ends up being easier said than done. Just getting those holes kind of perfectly lined up so that the rods would be level, um, level on one side, level on the other, and then the shelf being level between the two of them. So it took me a little bit, a lot of measuring and trial and error and kind of fumbling around with it. But finally I got the holes where they needed to be and ran the rods through the frame. And then I just put some nuts on the end there. And then it was just figuring out the ends of the shelves didn't actually fit within the frame yet. So I just need to kind of tweak the ends of the wood to make it fit within the frame. And to do this, I used my jigsaw, which is a tool that I really like. It's super versatile and easy to use. And with that jigsaw, I cut the ends of the boards so that they would fit nicely within the frame. And each board actually needed a little bit of a different cut. I think the bottom one, didn't need any cut, it just fit right in. Then the middle one kinda just cut out the corners to get it to fit. And the top one I had to make some tabs sort of in it to get it to fit around the frame. So that was fun. I like that every shelf is a little bit different in that regard. So after that I fit the frames onto the shelf and it was looking super good. There was just one little thing, I didn't like how the, where I had just cut was such a light wood shade compared to how we had burnt the rest of the shelf. So I burned the edges of that a little bit to just again kinda tie it in with the frame. And with that, it was done. And this project was not that difficult. It was fun too, because I got to work with Kira. I love how it turned out. It has this cool, modern look to it. And I just think it's beautiful. It fits super nicely into their apartment and my friends love it. So I couldn't be happy with how this turned out. If you enjoyed this build, I have a lot of other builds on my channel that are in a similar vein of sustainability and using scavenge materials. And I'll be putting some more stuff out in the future. So please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.